Good Saturday morning. This is James, outside edition, outside office at the Little Big Library. Today I want to give you uh, a little review on The Black Cat, Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat. First published in August 1843. It was published in the Saturday Evening Post. It's about a man, and he says from the book, from the story, I married early and was happy to find in my wife a disposition not uncongenial with my own. Observing my partiality for domestic pets, she lost no opportunity of procuring those of the most agreeable kind. We had birds, goldfish, a fine dog, rabbits, a small monkey, and a cat. And the cat just latched on to this man, followed him everywhere he went, and it was he fed it and took care of it, and it was his cat. But the man had a habit of drinking, getting drunk, and getting disagreeable, and little by little, he started getting disagreeable with all the other animals except the cat. But one night he came home and just got disagreeable with the cat, and he grabbed the cat, and the cat bit him, and he got mad and pulled out a pen knife. I think that's what we call pocket knives. And he gouged the cat's eye out. He took the eye out of the cat. But the cat survived and just lived long enough to, to and he healed. He survived and he healed and he just stayed away from the man. And the man, of course, he felt so bad about it, so bad about it. Just couldn't realize, just couldn't think about how bad he felt about taking that cat's eye out. But then when he'd get to drink and he'd think about it and it made him mad. And one night he came home, got the cat. And hung it. He hung the cat, put a noose around its neck, and hung it. And from then on, bad things started happening. His house burned down, except for one wall. On on that wall, you can see an outline from the way it burned of a cat with a noose around its neck. So that scared him. And then one night, he's in a pub, and he sees another black cat, and he decides he's going to take it home. And then that's when the story gets really interesting. Some bad things happen. It's only three and a half pages long. It's a real good, spooky, black cat Halloween read. I highly recommend it. The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. Check it out. Read it for Halloween. It's a good read. Thank you very much. This is James. And thinking of animals, I can't ring Bella outside. She's had a relapse. She looks worse now than she did before, so I called the vet, and they let me come down and get some antihistamines and some antibiotic shampoo. I'm going to try that for a week, and if she doesn't get any better, I have to take her to the vet. So keep Bella in your thoughts. This is James at Little Big Library. Saturday, y'all have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.